amid the tingling sensation of triumph. Uh, we just spoke to the governor of uh, Oshun State there, Ademola Adeleke. Was this a lucky shot for the PDP or is there something of a precedent here that lights the way to the even more complicated legal proclamation to come in front of a nation uh, no less or a national no less impressionable audience, that of the legal challenge to the presidential election. Well, for more about what this victory means for the main opposition, People's Democratic Party, I'm joined now in the studio by the Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the PDP, Ibrahim Abdullahi. Thank you very much indeed My pleasure, for joining Mr. us. Uh, briefly, your reaction to this judgment by the Supreme Court in your favour. Well, uh, first, we would like to commend the Nigerian judiciary, but most importantly, Nigerians, for this affirmation of what we believe uh, we have won mm. all the while. It was just a contention that was needless, if you ask me, because the way Nigerian, Nigeria as a nation is thrown into a celebratory mood following this outcome confirms to you that uh, they had always known that Adeleke and indeed PDP won the election in Ocean State. So it's not nothing surprising to us. We had always anticipated what has turned out uh, as our victory. So we congratulate Nigerians, congratulate the PDP, um, particularly uh, Senator Adeleke, who we believe will justify the mandate that is on his shoulder as the governor of uh, uh, Ocean State. So what lessons might there be here for the presidential election tussle that's just starting in the Court of Appeal? We will anticipate the judiciary to keep fit with this kind of uh, development. If they are convinced we truly won the election, which is what we feel, uh, honestly. But uh, we will leave that first until the verdict of uh, the tribunal, which will end in the Supreme Court, uh, ultimately. But we hope they will keep pace with what they have started, this commendable and uh, demonstrable uh, judgment, which they have given in favor of the PDP, should go further uh, in the presidential tribunal and, of course, uh, uh, election to justify that truly PDP won that election like we are arguing. Yeah. Yes, but what I'm wondering is, uh, I mean, what the issue is here, without obviously prejudicing the case that's already in court, yeah. um, the, the issue, I mean, it was about the total number of votes tallying with the votes declared according to the court and all the rest of it. So you, you were looking at the, the Beavers record, you were looking at the voter registration record and all the rest of it. And I'm wondering if that takes the case forward or, or doesn't really move it anywhere in terms of this affirmation by the Supreme Court? Of course, if this you have uh, mentioned are anything to go by, then the chances are that uh, the election is uh, uh, won by the PDP because the contention here are the issues that you have enumerated and we are disagreeing with what we have as the outcome of the election. And if what we have tabled before you know, the tribunal is anything to go by, then we are expecting it to go the way it just uh, went today which is that the election will be in favor of the PDP. And we're calling for the cancellation of the election on the strength of those arguments that you have adduced. Right, so you are reassured by this judgment. Um, your sense is that it shows that the court has the capacity to give justice. I mean, it may not necessarily favor you, but the point is that the, for the Nigerian people, it's that sense of reassurance that it doesn't really matter who it favors, mm -hmm. that the sense that justice is being done is really what they want to see. Yeah, barring unforeseen uh, steps by the judiciary, which we don't anticipate, but uh, given some disappointing uh, verdicts that we have had from uh, you know, the judiciary, we're just keeping our feet, we're keeping our hands crossed. We're not just celebrating yet, but we just believe what we have tabled before the tribunal are good enough to have this election cancelled. And we're beginning to get reassured with the outcome of today's uh, judgment in favor of the PDP. It's an argument, like I told you earlier, we have always maintained. We won the election, and clearly we have been vindicated with the outcome today. So unless anything goes on toward which we don't foresee, the election is going to still come in favor of the PDP following the cancellation 
you know, properly at the tribunal, which would be affirmed at the Supreme Court, ultimately. Some would argue that the stakes um, at that level are much higher than the stakes in, on the governorship level. But, but judiciary remain the same, and the arguments are the same. If we have the law, which we believe should be adhered to, to the letter, then it doesn't matter. If the stakes are high there, then the judiciary should be able to raise up the bar to meet up with the challenges that we anticipate they were able, uh, will be able to face. We've seen some commendable disposition from the judiciary right from the first sitting. They've given some refreshing you know, uh, development from the way they have asked even the setting and those of them who want to go there and uh, uh, you know, usurp the powers of others or rather pretend to be standing in for others. And I'm talking about the immediate past governor or the outgoing governor of uh, Plateau State who went there and impersonated Tinubu and said he was standing in for him and the judiciary said no. They have to see. So there are some steps that tend to suggest the judiciary main business. And if, like we are praying, they should be able to raise the bar and to keep their feet and to keep floating, keep their uh, uh, integrity afloat, then they should be able to affirm or rather, you know, uh, uh, grant our prayers and to look at the issues that we have uh, articulated and adduced and presented before their uh, lordship for, for consideration. And so that uh, the, the, the confidence that Nigerians had reposed in the judiciary will yet be rekindled. And of course, as I said to Governor uh, Adeleke there, this has been an acrimonious battle in the courts. Um, but I mean, a sign of magnanimity, of course, is reaching out to, to the APC and trying to effect a healing process so that the people of Oshun State can unite and go forward. I mean, what would you expect to see in, in, in those uh, circumstances? That is the one good thing going for Senator Adeleke. He's been a team player, a fantastic politician. I'm yet to see his uh, type in, in, in the politics of Oshun State. Don't forget he's a phenomenon. He's from a political family. And uh, for the Adelikes, it's not about Senator Ademola Adeleke. There's this cult-like followership in the entire Oshun State for the Adelikes. There are, as at the last count, not less than five of them who have all carved niches for themselves. Just when you are about celebrating uh, the politician, Senator Adeleke, you are going to have behind you uh, a successful businessman, Adeleke. Then you're going to have an entertainer, Adeleke. You're going to have a sportman, Adeleke. They've all stood out, they've maintained. And all of these people have kept faith with the people of Washington State. Mm. Each one of them, if you go to their house, you will not believe you are not in the house of a, a businessman. You would think the politician who are known to have people around them is the one you are visiting. They all have this. Thing. So it's maintained. You will recall their brother of blessed memory, former governor of the state and senator, uh, Isiaka Adeleke, who was uh, the inspiration to the Adelekes. Mm. And so it's just something the Oshun people had wondered why anybody is wasting their time. It's a victory that is long anticipated. It's a festive mood, not just in Oshun State today, but across the family of PDP in Nigeria, and particularly Wadata, the headquarters of the PDP, was thrown in celebratory mood, even when we anticipated that was going to be the outcome uh, uh, eventually. So we, we, we only thank Nigerians and commend the judiciary and pray that they will keep fit with what they have started. Thank you very much indeed, and congratulations. Thank once you again. so very Ibrahim much. Ibrahim Abdullahi is the Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the PDP. Thank you.